Welcome back to in the, the live in the labs with Becky and Todd. That sounds really weird, but that's what it is. We are live right now. Thanks a lot for joining us. This this day is done now. I think it we're is. all finished up pretty much. We've got a little bit, a few things to talk about, but after that, everything is squared away, and it was filled with all kinds of great stuff. It really was. We had such a, an amazing lineup of different sessions today, uh, which will recap some of those that we just had in that block of three there. So perhaps we'll start the bad catch up, Todd. Nice. Um, which obviously is our sign. Mm -hmm. I'm super proud of this one. Yes, very much so, yes. It's turned out really nice. What's your favourite bit? Uh, my favourite bit, of course, besides working with you on this, which is really, yeah. really good, uh, I think my favourite, favourite part is the, um, the, the contrast that's here. Literally, the colours look really great. I think that really, I think one of our main ideas was to get some nice colour and contrast mm. going, and I think we totally achieved that, and that makes the sign really kind of pop. So I like that a lot. Yeah, it was actually quite brave from us, wasn't it? Because we're mm. not really, we don't ever really paint any mm -mm -mm. of our projects. I think no. it's the fear of, oh, if I paint it, then I'll ruin it. Yeah, exactly. hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, that's what's nice about this is that we did it in pieces. So to paint it and then you, you don't need to worry about making a mess everywhere, right? Yeah, that was just no. great. Yeah. Well, and my, what was your favorite oh, part of this? You? Well, well mine's yeah. the gold leaf. Gold leaf. Yeah, you did a really nice job on that. Thank you. Well done. Well done. It's not what you said earlier. <laughs> Oh, yes. it, was your, it was your first time. You did a really great job. Like, come on, that's really good. It's really good. Yeah, but it wasn't actual gold leaf. It was like the fake gold mm. leaf. Leaf. Mm. Um, really, really nice process. Yeah, really yeah, yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. You just put your glue in, wait for it to go a luminous blue, wait for it to disappear, and then you put your gold in and get your brush out, and then, mm -hmm. then it's done. Yeah, it's great. No, it worked, really worked out really nice. well. Yeah. Now, if you were to change anything with our sign, what would you change? I think. I love it. I love it just the way it is. I think that the, the, the sheriff's badges here, if they were 3D, I think that would kind of make it, or maybe if they were a bit thicker. I don't know. It just seems to be, that, I think I would, I would work on that a little bit. But overall, though, it, I, I, that would, that's a little thing. Mm. But I think it's hard. How about you? I agree. I think the, uh, the stars, if we did them 3D, mm -hmm. we could paint them in um, that gold rub. You know, oh, yeah, right, yeah. That, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Simon gave you a yeah, jar of that. That's right. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd make it bigger. Right. Bigger. Bigger. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Good stuff. Next time. Perfect. <laughs> um, but we are actually machining elements of this. Mm -hmm. We've been doing a little bit today. We're going to do some more tomorrow. So we'll reveal our second version of our sign tomorrow. Oh, that's going to be exciting. You know, one thing that I wish we had version 13 right now, because if we had it, we could have assembled this and seen it all together before we actually made it and put it mm -hmm. together. So yeah, version 13. I can't wait for it to come around with the assembler. It's going to be good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. Yes. Um, cool. So, do you have anything else on our side? No, no. I th I, yeah, like I said, I think it turned out really well. Um, yeah, I think it's really great. We learned a lot. We did. And uh, then we'll be able to use these, the things that we learned down the road for other projects. So, yeah. it's great. Absolutely. Um, following our session, we had Ryan from Cutting It Close um, and Drapella Works. Uh, and so he had a whole session all on inlays. Now, Ryan's been using our software and an array of CNC machines for many years now. Uh, and so he's kind of built his whole business on uh, CNC products that he makes and sells in Drapella Works. Um, and he had lots of top tips in there um, for the different styles of inlays, mm. uh, the pros and cons of uh, various st uh, uh, toolpath types. Um, and if you haven't given inlays a go, then I totally recommend mm. that you try it. There's, there's nothing like that feeling when you see the oh, plug yeah. being skimmed away and revealing that inlay. No, it is, it is amazing. Isn't it? It's sort of like a magical moment. And one thing, you don't even, sometimes you're not quite sure how it's going to turn out. And then when you do it, it's like, oh, brilliant. Yeah, it's <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. And Ryan and his inlay kits, I wish that we could get some of those here. I've never done an end grain, end grain inlay before. And, the, and every time we, I go to make a plug, it's usually made of really thick material and I have to waste a lot. So the, his actual kits would save a lot on that. Absolutely. So uh, Ryan, next time we see you, I'll be looking for a kit. <laughs> um, one of Ryan's top tips that he had was an interesting one when he was talking about radiusing all the corners of a piece of artwork. And he used a, um, a gadget that was called Radius All. Now, if you go looking for that in, at our, at our, on our gadget site, you'll see that it's not available for version 12. 
If you go back to version 10, it is, but we don't support it in version 12. But there is a little bit of a tip that I can give you, an old school method of doing it, where if you actually select the set of vectors and you offset them outwards, half the radius of your tool, inwards twice that same amount and back outwards again, then you can round all those corners perfectly. And that's a great little uh, trick if you're doing all kinds of things, uh, mainly if you want to make sure your bit's going to get everywhere mm. that it should. It's, it's a nice old school tip that uh, works really well. So uh, there you go. And shortcut keys. Yes. This lady teaches me a lot about shortcut keys all the time. Zero and nine is one of her favorites. And you, you saw Ryan um, uh, rotating objects all the time really quickly. And he was using zero or nine on his keyboard to do that with. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And getting to know your shortcut keys will just make your workflow so mm. much quicker. Exactly. So thank you so much, Ryan. Um, and if you want to learn more about Ryan or check out any of Ryan's videos, you can uh, access the link to his YouTube channel from... Uh, his speaker section uh, section on our website. Um, following Ryan's session, mm -hmm. we had a session from Andy Bird of Andy Bird Builds. Uh, thank you so much for Andy. Thanks for being in the chat mm -hmm. as well. Uh, Andy is another uh, YouTuber who has created a whole business on making and selling items um, on your CNC. And I thought there was a lot of great tips uh, that he had in there if you were thinking of starting your own business. Exactly, yeah. And I, I really love his idea of creating something that you or the person who's going to buy it has a really a strong emotional connection to you. I make decisions all the time when I buy things because I actually emotionally feel that I want to have them. So definitely, if you can find something like that, then that's going to be a big seller for you, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, and he also showed uh, the dog leash holder, which is a great example of using like template files. Um, template files are quite another underrated mm -hmm. tool that we have. Um, and so for things like, <laughs> like what he demonstrated, if you're doing personalized items, they're great to have because you can have your template, throw out, switch out the names, um, but you'll never actually overwrite the file because it's actually quite hard to overwrite mm -hmm. a template file. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's a good, good little tip there. Um, the other thing that I kind of like about it too is that um, the if you can find a well, customizing like you had mentioned, customizing things is really important. If you can find a boutique that actually carries things like dogs are huge, pets are huge. If you can find mm -hmm. a boutique in your local area that does dogs, cats, maybe maybe it's a cars cars thing, and you you have a, a passion for that, then why not stop in and see if uh, you can sell your products there. Um, and, and, you know, just offer them a cut and, uh, you know, maybe you'll be able to make a nice connection there for a business opportunity. That's it. Yeah. Helping another business out. Exactly. Um, and he gave a bit of personal advice too. Uh, you know, manage your expectations and expect to learn and grow. Like we all, we're all going to make mistakes, but just learn from them. I think that's really valuable. Huge. Yeah. And uh, like, like you said, I go find your niche. You know, if you, if you like cars, why not do something with cars? Cause people are going to notice that you really enjoy what you're doing and that's going to help them you know they, they'll see that you're being real with your products and, mm -hmm. and that'll help them sell for sure yeah and i think that the other piece that i loved um was when he said about like you know amongst all of it that the stuff that you're making take the time to make something for yourself mm. oh definitely yeah, yeah. That's, right. that's true that is really true keep it yeah. fun for yourself yeah, yeah. Yes. So, um, and as Andy said, uh, in his session, in his session, you can get twenty percent off his course, uh, where you can learn more about making and selling with your CNC and Vectric software using the code UGM twenty twenty five, and you can learn more about Andy at andybirdbuilds.com. Thank you so much, Andy, yes, for being you. there. Yes. Um, right then. What's been going on? Well, on the over here on the CNC machine, let's have a look. So we've gone ahead and cut a the 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 pocket version of our inlay, and we have all of our letters right here. And so, like we always tell you, it's best to try and test fit your parts in before you remove your material off the CNC machine. That's really important because if it's still here, then you can make some changes to it if you have to. So if we just try and fit in, not the R, because that's the wrong letter. I grabbed that one earlier. <laughs> this is the G. Okay, there's a little G that goes in here, and we can just kind of easily sort of just push that in there nice and easily, and that fits perfectly in there. Now, it, we have to be, we'll have to be a little careful when we apply our paint to them, but I think that they're going to be great. They're going to fit in there nice and tight, so I'm quite happy with that. So I think we're good to go perfect. with this one here. Yeah. And that's the perfect example of it working perfectly. Perfect. Exactly, that's right. And yes. if it was, if it didn't fit, we'd just make it bigger exactly. whilst it's all on the That's bed. That's right, yeah, for sure. 
Awesome. And we're going to be cutting some more stuff tomorrow. We will be. Yes, that's right. Yeah, it's going to be fun to see this thing kind of unfold right here. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. So I guess that brings us to the end of day one. That was my turn. So um, <laughs> thank you so much to all of our speakers that have taken the time to create content for us. Um, and we're really, really thankful that you you put your time and gave it to us and all of our all of you guys out there. We really do appreciate that. Um, all the sessions that happen today will be live on our YouTube site. So if you are in our in, a, in also on the UGM site, so if you miss them, you can always come back and watch those later, and they'll always be available there for you. Yes, um, I went over to the show and tell earlier, and I've seen that lots of you have been, there's been more and more projects nice. being uploaded, which is super cool. Really liked seeing those. Um, I look forward to having a good look tomorrow morning. Um, we are actually holding a competition. So for those of you that weren't tuned into mm. our very first live this morning, uh, we've sort of brought up about how there is a competition that you're automatically entered into when you upload your project in the show and tell. Uh, and you'll be automatically enrolled into the chance to win $100 worth of clip art and the designer make store. So keep uploading your projects overnight and then tomorrow at five o'clock, yes. Todd and I will be uh, choosing our top three projects, um, which we will then put out to you guys in a poll for you to choose your favorite for that uh, $100 worth of clip art. What a great deal, what a great deal. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Uh, and again, um, all of the session, most of the sessions that you've seen today and coming up tomorrow are all available in the bundle. There's lots of clip art in there, there's 2D vector art as well. Uh, and you can get that bundle for $49. Uh, you just head over to the shop on ugm.vetrit.com. Um, and we'll be back tomorrow at 11 a.m. live in the labs for some more fun, more CNC action, and lots of awesome projects. <laughs> Thank you all so much yes. for being here. Thank you for chatting. Thank you yes. for asking all of your questions. We really appreciate you all being here with us all day. It's been a long day, but it's been it's been a it's good been one. great. It's been a, it's a, been a good one. Listen to that, yeah. That's right on. It. Thanks again. Thank See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow.